What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another FS19 video and in today's video guys We are starting a all new a brand new single player series um, I've just kind of gotten tired of the Ravenport series and the Felsburn I haven't done too much on um, But I will be going back to the Felsburn because the Felsburn is a pretty good map But Ravenport has been played too much and it's basically dead for me now um, So we're starting an all new series. We are on the USA map. I think it was it was like the dairy farm map in 2017. It is uh, the rolling. Let me show you guys. Can I even show you? I don't know if you know if it'll let me show you on here. It's the rolling hills map though. Uh, the same one that the squad has. Um, I'm doing the same map. Yep, rolling hills co-op. The same map because it's a great map and it is a midwestern map. So it's uh, it's pretty reminiscent to where I live. Uh, it's like dead midwest. Just it's called rolling hills for a reason because that's really. Honestly, look at this map. It's all there is just hills on hills on hills um, So that's what we are going to be working with and we are going to be settling in at the Kellogg family farm um, Just because I really like that farm and it's somewhat close to the shop. So our trips are not going to be too terrible um, But just like on the squad server uh, or on his single player we, He created a, a map that you could easily or not a map a road you could get across the map easily um, so if we wanted to, we could do something like that, but I think we're good for now. Alright, so we're going to roll up here to the Kellogg Family Farm. Uh, this episode is mostly just going to be equipment, hauling, um, me buying equipment, showing you guys the things I'm thinking about. And guys, I think we're going to try and go any time that we can ever buy a deer, we're going to buy a deer. There's no competition at all. It's going to be deer only, pretty much. So all tractors, harvesters, um... Any equipment that you can get a deer, we're getting it pretty much. Uh, I'm going to try and go online and look for some more mods too. We also got all the US versions of like the 8R, uh, the 6M, all those things. We got like the Goodyear tires on everything. We switch it all over because the game usually just comes with the European version. But right now on the back of this flatbed here, we got the US versions. I'll show you guys later. Um, it is a mod, so just so you guys know for that. So this is the entrance to our farm. I'll have to work it up a little bit and make it look a little bit nicer because it's just a super basic farm here. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was the dairy farm in FS17. So rolling in here, you got house on the right and then you come back uh, quite a ways actually. Let me just stroll over here. Quite a ways and you come back into the actual farm itself. A big plot of land, but you got a river cutting right through it, so I'm not too sure. Probably just use a lot of this area right here just for cutting grass and whatnot. Um, and also, one of the trucks that we got so far, guys, is the GMC Sierra. Right here, look at it. It's uh, it's a really solid truck, in my opinion. Um, I don't necessarily prefer certain trucks over certain trucks, i.e. Ford, GMC, uh, Chevy, or anything like that, or Dodge. Um, so that's why I'm just like mixing it up using all of them seeing how all the mods are. It's really all about the mods pretty much All right, so this is our 6m. Uh, it's a 6155 with chip tuning uh, So it's it's beefed up quite a bit honestly uh, She's uh She's begging for a 6m. Let me just say that And we got the uh, the double narrow dualies. I'm not sure if these narrow tires would work in the crop destruction, but I don't know uh, this is our, our big boy, our Mac Daddy right here, everybody. This is the 8400R. Uh, this is the biggest one. I think we're pushing 650 horsepower on this, on this bad boy here. Let me check. Uh, 450, I think. 450 horsepower. Yeah, it was the Kenworth that we we're doing uh, 600 with. Yep, so here is... So these are our... So this is a big tractor, medium tractor. We'll probably buy a 7R at some point. Uh, I don't know if we'll buy it today, though, because I don't know if we'll need it. Well, I'm going to move this Sierra out of the way, because we're going to be bringing in equipment here and lining it up to show everybody. So, yeah, this episode will probably be about 30 minutes long. It's just going to be us hauling equipment um, and just hauling more and more equipment. So, let me just see here. All right, I'm going to go back to the shop here, guys. Yeah, turn around real quick. Good thing we got a good area to turn around in. All right, I'm going to go back to the shop here in a second. I'll see you guys. Alrighty, we are back here at the shop now. We're gonna unload this magneton really quick. Let me see, make sure we're on the right one. 
There we go. And now we're going to load up our 760 right here. 790, actually. We got the 790. Um, I don't think... We'll just grab the uh, headers later, actually. I'll just pick up a header trailer. Mm, actually, hold on. Let me buy a header trailer, move it, move the headers onto the trailer, and then we'll be good. All right, so it doesn't look like there's another one. Doesn't look like there's any John Deere that we can buy. So we're just gonna go with one that looks John Deere-ish. Okay, now to this one. This is the ooh going, going green, baby. Farm is gonna be very green. If you guys have not realized it so far, very, very, very green. Um, mowers, I'm gonna check and see if there's a John Deere mower first before I buy one on here. Um, just because if there is, I'm gonna go with that one instead. All right, so this one's for the 790, $89,000. That is insane. That is a, it's a lot of, a lot of money. What's this one? This one's 618. This one's nine feet wide. These ones are 12. Oh, yeah, I need to try and find a, a foldable John Deere header mod. Then if you guys know if there's any mods out there for John Deere that I am not uh, recognizing in this video, leave a comment down below and let me know because if there is i would love to know uh just simply by the fact that i don't want to or i want all the mods i possibly can so if you guys know that there's a good john deere mod out there that you see me not using you definitely leave a comment down below tell me uh try and tell me the website where it's, it's on i usually use mod hub a lot modhub.us so that's one guys boom loaded on ready to go uh, we'll pick up the corn header next kind of sucks that these ones don't have wheels that you can automatically just uh, kick out and use and then just tow it behind you but it's all right I know we had some in FS 17 like that all right now we're gonna load this bad this bad mamma jamma up uh oh all right hold on a second hold on hold on all right we're gonna move the Kenworth out of our way first I do want to try and get a Peterbilt in here too, because Peterbilt I like Peterbilt's better than Kenworth's. Hopefully that doesn't trigger anybody in there in the audience. Why can I not? Oh, I gotta get on the other side. That's why. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, listen to her purr. All right, but yeah, so I want to try and get Peterbilt uh, just because I like the Peterbilt's better than the Kenworth's. But this Kenworth is a solid, a solid one. Uh, originally, when it was released, it had some issues. I think the power issues have been adjusted. She has 650 horsepower, so she's a she's a big one, I think. Oh wow, this is all right. So this is topping out our load. And normally, guys, yes, I know, unrealistic. Uh, you would not be trying to pull. Usually, you would be using like a full steel uh, like trailer, magneton trailer, whatever you want to call it, um, and you would not be hauling with. A corn header attached to your harvester but for simplicity's sake and less trips for me we're gonna be doing that today um, just think of it as we're out in the middle of nowhere no traffic no cars don't need to worry early morning nobody's out here so we're just gonna let me throw my blinkers and everything though there we go yep yeah look at that oversized load we got everything on we got permits for this don't worry we're good we're good and then we do, we have bought, if you guys can see down there, we have bought fields 17, 8, 7, uh, and then the Kellogg Family Farm plot also. Um, the plot is probably going to, the plot is really good, guys. Let me just say this. So other than the fact that it's pretty curved and like slanted due to the rolling hills. Oh, bye-bye sign. Um, other than that simple fact, it's a really, really good plot. Ooh, I should sell 15 actually. Hold on, let me, let me sell this one really quick. Sell that bad boy. There we go. Other than the fact um, that the land is really curved over there on the actual farm, um, we can use the landscape mod and work it out a little bit, make it a little bit flatter um, in just some areas because there is a river that kind of cuts directly through it. Um, so that will be a pain in the rear, but I think we'll figure it out. There we go. It's going to first person. Ooh, yeah, another reason that this one is a pretty good mod other than that little seat glitch right there pretty accurate on the inside actually i mean it's not one of those uh it's not a sleep-in trailer but 
it's pretty solid in my opinion. All right, let's see if we can throw that Jake break on. Let's see if we can make this. Ooh, we were close there. Let me just say, I was clenching hard, guys. I was clenching hard. That was that was pretty close. Oh yeah, see that's the reason why you don't. Yeah, you'll catch this. If somebody tried to do this in real life, you'd catch that on the header on so much stuff. Uh, yeah. But yeah, like I was saying, guys, there's a little river that flows through here. I'm not sure if we can fill up at it. If we could, that would be fantastic. Um, I mean, water's not too big of an issue. Uh, we also got we look at we got a fishing spot and everything. But yeah, that land right there that I'm looking at, we can flatten that out decently. Um, I still want to have the creek though coming through. The little creek, not river, creek. All right. Pop that bad boy off. Mmm, look at that. Okay, so we got three pieces of John Deere equipment so far. I mean, technically we got more, but we're going with three right now. We're just going to say we got three. Uh, next up is going to be going back with the Sierra, and we're going to load her up with a header trailer and oh i need to turn on uh the start let me, let me change it really quick just so you guys because i know a lot of people like that and i like it too the automatic shutoffs i'm not going to use that that's what i'm saying uh auto save off save game is gonna be deer farm there we go change that traffic on dirt regular and just start off okay there we go Save her up. All right, looking good. All right, now we'll take the Sierra back, and I'm gonna go grab that header trailer and bring it back, and then I'll meet you guys at the farm again, and we're gonna buy in some more. We're gonna be buying some more equipment, um, mostly implements this time around. So I'm not sure how we're gonna get these back. Probably pick up another a smaller, smaller trailer. Maybe hmm, I don't know. I don't know if we could pick up. All right, but see you guys back at the farm. Alrighty, we're rolling back up on our farm here. I think we'll rename the farm though guys not Kellogg Maybe something else uh, Maybe we'll keep it actually. I don't know. I'm not sure uh, but roll back up on the farm here We got our bean header coming in here Just gonna make sure we don't lose it here slid off a little bit took took a turn going too quick There we go and this one. I'm just going to drop right here for now That drop it oh yeah I just was still rolling when I dropped it so just kept rolling with me alrighty there we go Parker down and now so we got everything over there we're gonna need another small tractor oh there's no small John Deere tractor so I'm gonna hold off buying small tractor now we're gonna go in later pick up a small tractor from John Deere that I get a mod for so we'll get a mod for one first um, but we already got the 6M. So yeah. Oh, here, let me show you guys really quick. So yeah, this is by by the 6M uh, US version. Other than like the kilogram stuff and all that stuff. Where was it at? It's in here somewhere, wasn't it? Or was it? No, it was the 8R. That's the 8R was the US version. That's what it was. Um, right here. Yep, the 8R US. Yeah. Uh, but let's pick up. A heavier duty yeah we'll pick up a, a 6r here we'll go we'll trick it out uh, we don't need a front loader on it because we already have one we'll go we'll just do wide tires and weights that'll that'll be pretty good I think for for what we're gonna be needing of it all right now for implements uh, trailers we're going to start off not with one of those we're okay we'll do a semi small trailer because just because i have a we're gonna be going with some bigger boys here in a minute i'll show you guys yeah because we're gonna be wanting to get yeah the the pace setter the wilson trailer this bad this bad boy here we're gonna be using one of these to haul around all of our stuff that's why the original reason i bought the kenworth for um is for that in particular thing the wilson trailer uh, it's amazing that they actually added it in the game, so Ooh, we need a John Deere uh, auger wagon in here, too. I should probably be writing this down. I need to remember all these things. 
Um, then we'll go with a plow cultivator and a planter. So cultivator. Hmm. Maybe we'll use the case. I'm not sure yet. Plows though. We'll wait on the plows. Planter though. I'm not sure. I'm not sure guys. I don't know what we want to use. <sighs> I'm not sure. Okay, anyways, we'll wait on those. We'll wait on those for now. We're going to be buying a loading wagon because I know we'll need one of these. Um, we don't want to buy the smallest one. We'll buy the fence here just because... Wait, no. I need the fence. Just because I know we will end up... Mm, let's go with the trailborgs just because we're not going to be hitting roads too often with that. Uh, but yeah, we'll go with the uh, Fenton because it's just way bigger. We're going to need it more. Uh, we will have to pick up a weeder um, because weeding will be very necessary. And then we will get a sprayer because we're going to need a sprayer because we can't always be using the weeders. Uh, sprayer, sprayer, sprayers. Crop protection, there it is. All right. Um, even the really small coons are really big. Yeah, they're still 36 meters across, which is huge. Yeah, it's like 90, 90 feet wide is what it ends up being. Was it, was it 36? Yeah. Yeah. Like 104 feet across. That's a, that's a lot. That's a big distance. If you guys ask me, um, but I'm not sure what we'll be doing later. So I'm not going to buy a manure spreader. Um, we will need a lime spreader though. We'll go with a K105, uh, just because, let me show you guys, you can add on an extension that basically makes it into the, uh, the big boy version of it. And then you got a six meter spreading unit and it brings it up to 18 meters total. Pretty solid little guy. If you ask me, uh, what can this one spread to? Yeah, only 18 and it's just, it's just bigger. That's the only difference. I really don't think that there's too much of a need. Um, if you want to carry more, you can use that. Uh, okay, so that looks good. Now let's grab our Kenworth and we are going to make our way on back. Got to start her up. Yeah, guys, so I'm holding off from buying uh, a couple things in this video just because I didn't realize how much stuff that I would actually need that was John Deere. Um, so what we're going to end up doing is next episode, I will have already bought everything, all of, like the mods and stuff that I can manage to find for John Deere. I will have in the game already here, ready to go when we start off uh, and start our first harvest. I think the first harvest is going to be field 17 here with is that corn. Yeah, field 17 here with corn. Let me show you guys fields really quick. Yeah, so right now, oh my gosh, it's all, all it is corn and soybeans, nothing else. That's all the Midwest is, it's just corn and soybeans. Why is there two different ones? Interesting. Fruit types too. Okay, but yeah. All we got here is corn and soybeans. And we got 17, 7, and 8 is almost ready. So we got corn, corn, soybean down there. So yeah, definitely Midwest map as you guys can see here. All the other farmers, all the plant is that. We'll probably mix it up a, just a wee bit uh, just to make it a little bit different. Um, I wonder if those were ever fertilized though. This one doesn't have anything. I think this one needs plowing is what it needs. But this one was fertilized and this one needs lime. All right. Yeah, so once we harvest these fields, we got to put some work into them uh, just from the sheer fact that they're they're in desperate need. Uh, whoever we bought, the Kellogg's we bought this from, uh, I guess they didn't, they didn't uh, lime their fields too often, which, ugh, whatever suits them. But yeah, so we'll be, we might want to pick up 28 too, actually, now that I'm looking at it. But yeah, guys, so I'll be going in and purchasing all the stuff, bringing it in. I'm trying, I'm going to really try and find a John Deere, uh, ooh, about popped lip there. I'm really going to find a John Deere, try and find a John Deere, uh, plow, planter, mower, and if they have cultivators, I'm going to try and find those. Hopefully there's a mod out for there, or for them. Uh, if they're not, if there's not, I'm sure somebody will make a mod soon. Um, but that's going to be my main goal. But, guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to pick up this last bit of equipment here, haul her back, um, and then I'll see all you guys in the next episode, hopefully with some new equipment. 
Hopefully you guys are excited for this as I am. This will be my main single player for quite a while until a new, better uh, Midwest US map comes out, which I'm sure there will be one eventually. There was a ton. Um, I have another one already, but I didn't want to play that one just because that one is kind of an older map from FS15 and 17. But guys, if you're gonna enjoy this series as much as I am, hit that like button, subscribe if you got or subscribe if you guys want to stay up to date and want to know when things are released, hit the bell button. That will help with that. But but I'll see all you guys in the next FS19 video.